So what does that mean? Up is positive. And down is negative. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay, I made that clear, right? Yeah. So now in this problem, this construction work will accidentally drop a brick from a high place. So here is the brick. And there is the brick, again, on, on, just before it hits the ground. Okay? So what do you think is going to happen to this brick as it falls? It's going to go up. So it's going to? What's the word? So to show acceleration, we still use our dots. You see that? Yes. Accelerating downward. Okay? And the acceleration is going to point down, but I need to point out that this acceleration is equal to what? What is it equal to? Nine point eight. Very good. Acceleration is equal to negative g. And the reason why it's negative is because down is negative. And up is positive. And it's pointing down. down. So if, if the acceleration is negative, what can you say about these red things here? That he's slowing down. Positive or negative? Yeah. Negative. These are called velocities, guys. They are negative as well. Okay, you have to pay attention to direction in these problems, okay? Okay. You have to. So, let's see what we know. Well, just like we did in the other problem, we have T initial, V initial, D initial, right? T final, V final, D final. So let's see what we know. What do we know? The velocity of a brick. Oh, never mind. You know that the final time is four seconds. Let's start here. Start up here. What do you know up here? The initial time is zero. All right. The initial, everything's zero. Really? Yeah. Well, the time initial, the uh, the time and the velocity initial is zero. And Everything is zero. You're right. Everything up there is zero. Everything is zero. Everybody understand that? If I'm dropping something, guys, look at this. If I'm just dropping something, what's the velocity now? Zero. Yeah. <laughs> zero. So it goes from zero to whatever, right? Yeah. What if I do this? Yeah. Is the initial velocity zero now? Yeah. No. I gave it an initial velocity. So there's a difference between throwing something down and dropping something. You follow me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's just like I'm throwing something up. I give it an initial velocity for it to go up. Yeah. So what's that what's gonna be the, the initial velocity when you throw something? Okay, you're always given that number. They will tell you. Alright. Okay? It depends. It varies because the, 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 this is gonna go as high. The height at which this thing goes depends on how much velocity I give it. If I give it a hard velocity, it's going to go high, right? If I give it a little velocity, it's not going to go that high. You see what's happening? It really depends upon the initial velocity. Okay? Let's go down here. What do we know? Do you know anything down here? The final time. You know the time? Yes. Yeah. Four seconds. What else do we know? Yeah. That's it? That's the end of it. What do we want to find? The, the, final, the final velocity. The final velocity. Look over there. Tell me what you're going to use. The first one would be F equals I Yeah. Okay. I can't get it. Whoever does this problem first and give me the right answer, get it. Give me the right answer first. <laughs> what do you say? That's a point. Where do you put the point? That's it. I put it on uh, 
Do you have a missing classwork or homework? No. You want another quiz? Oh, yeah. No. Yes. If you have something missing in your homework or your classwork, or somewhere there about. What do you have? Negative 39.2. That's what I thought. Don't we want to know the final displacement, please? Wait, just. No, just ask. Let's do one thing. It says, what is the final, okay. what is the velocity? Negative 39.2 is correct. Oh, I need it. Meters per second. That's right. Negative what? Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, that was really that was easy. Does that make sense? Yeah. Can you do it? Well, this is zero right there. That's why we write these things down, right? Yeah. This Whoa. is zero. That's zero, right? It's right there. Minus G is what? And T? T? So that gives us negative 39.2 meters per second. That cancels one of them. And that's the velocity. As it falls. After four seconds, that's how fast it's going. And you notice the neg it's negative? It's negative. You see that? Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. yeah. And it's because of the constant acceleration of gravity. Now,